very recently we have witnessed history and it's something that people would never have ever predicted would ever happen or ever come to this day. What I'm talking about is Nicocado Avocado. Very recently he uploaded a video where it's gone viral and gone crazy because he has uploaded a video of where he has lost 250 pounds of weight. Not only he has lost 250 pounds of weight, he has done this in a span of two years and also been uploading videos and content of his older videos that he recorded two years prior to his weight loss journey. This is probably one of the most crazy achievements I have seen on the platform. And I also think he is literally a genius when it comes to creating content because how he was able to fool everybody thinking that he is still the um, king of mukbangs and you know his health is deteriorated because of all the mukbangs he has done and then all of a sudden he just somehow dropped a you know a video a, a complete banger of him showing his whole weight loss is crazy two steps ahead I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. So I am the villain, because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me, year after year after year, for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. So when I actually first saw this, I was genuinely shocked. This was literally like my Beetlejuice moment where Beetlejuice would have the eyes coming out of his skull in shock like this. And I also kind of had to check whether I was in the right universe and whether this was literally Nick Ocado, a different version of him when he was skinny versus the one that he was, you know, 350, 400 pounds. But no, I did check. I'm in the right universe. I'm not, you know, changing time or anything like that. This is actually him losing the weight. So this is genuinely a video that really just came out of nowhere and now he looks different. Now part of the clips I actually showed you from the beginning of what Nick was saying is that he always used the term that he is the villain. And it kind of does sound like that because he kind of sounds like he's like Joker or the Riddler coming out of uh, Arkham Asylum. So he uses that word a lot and the reason he uses it is because he kind of made himself like the victim okay and he was always kind of portraying a character when he was doing his mukbang so also what he was doing with his mukbangs was also doing breakdown and drama and a lot of the times that was kind of a perfect recipe for him because it was always there to for him to gain more money financially from it. People kind of believed the drama in the way he was portraying it. I think he was like doing drama mostly with um, Orlin, his husband. And it kind of just was a way that, you know, he would use like his mukbangs and his depression and the drama and the breakdowns to essentially just make more videos and more views to greatly monetize his channel. And, you know, you can't really blame him for that. I actually think it's, he did a very clever thing using all these things together. And it kind of just shows that he knows the algorithm and knows the way of actually trying to feed the views for the audience. But although he's been feeding the views to the audience, he's also been feeding himself too much. And too much of it is him doing constantly doing mukbangs, you know, regularly throughout his whole channel. And he would always have lots of food on camera and he would always pretty much eat nearly everything. So he's also been, you know, kind of trapped in this sort of um, phase where most of his views would be, would be from the people that would watch him do his mukbangs. And sometimes, you know, the audience would always take pleasure of him constantly doing these mukbangs and just essentially just watching him suffer from it. So he's kind of, you know, had this sort of... Um, 
he, like a closed echo chamber of some kind where he was just trapped and regardless of what other people thought about Nick Ocado's health or situation at the time he would kind of portray a character where he would kind of dismiss it and just go out of character so he essentially people at the internet at the time and even some of the audience that were watching him he, they kind of labeled him as the victim and that's kind of where the villain term comes in it was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And it's over. It was just a dream. Cheers, everybody, to a new era. <laughs> We were all just dreaming. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, this is so good. Mmm. So you can actually see that Nick Ocado is actually very emotional, but also he feels a lot more happier about things. And I know in a video as well, he's done um, doing another mukbang as well. But all I would say is that he's just feels more happy doing it and actually feels that he can actually still enjoy doing mukbangs whilst feeling more happy about his life. And there's no nothing wrong with that. And I really think that it just shows that there is probably a more positive way moving forward from the older videos that he was doing his excessive amounts of mukbangs and his drama and breakdowns as well. So this is going to be very interesting to see what he will bring to his channel moving forward. I know there's also things in the past that he also did as well that he was also a really good violin player. I remember there were like some clips of him showing that he was really good at the violin. So it'd be very interesting to see how he could bring that back. And I also would be very interested to see like how his transformation actually came about. I mean, what he actually did. It'd be interesting to see like how he like hit the cardio or the weight training and everything like that. It, it would be very, very interesting because like I said, most of the videos he's done has just been older videos that he has just kept and he was just feeding it out, you know, on his channel to fool the audience to believe that this was actually what he was actually doing rather than him losing the weight and actually kind of feeling more happy about his life. So he has really fooled everyone and he's fooled a lot of YouTubers as well, kind of thinking that he was still, you know, on the same path to with lots of health problems and nearly death, essentially, you know, the worst case scenario. And many people felt that his situation was just going from bad to worse to just to just destructive. And now you reverse that. He's much happier. He's more fulfilled about life. And he's lost 250 pounds of weight in two years, which is an exceptional achievement. So, yeah, very, very um, good video from Nekakado. The video has been, you know, going bananas online. And I really do feel that his channel is probably going to get something new moving forward and I would like to see like like I said his transformation journey and probably also like him going back to the violin as well that's what I would like to see but who knows but yeah that's pretty much about it see you later